Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog. iOS 13.1 beta is out before iOS 13 is even public. Apple is really trying to get prepared for the best software experience for the new devices coming out in a couple weeks, especially with iOS 13 being released in its official form. So we've got iOS 13, this will be an overview of beta 1 and 2. So let's go ahead and take a look at the new features. So starting out, we have a lot more dynamic wallpapers for your iPhone. We have the ones that you already had, the dark ones that look just amazing on the iPhone with its black border. But then we also have the colorful ones that remind me a lot of the iPhone XR with its colorful shell or, of course, the iPhone 5C. It doesn't quite match the colors on Apple's invitation for the new event, so it's not perfect alignment with that in case we're looking for any hints. But these wallpapers look great, and they make me miss my iPhone XR a little bit because they're so colorful. Next we have actually a really cool subtle change. So the volume HUD was already improved with iOS 13 but now it also indicates your audio output method. So whether you're using Apple TV or AirPods or PowerBeats Pros or Bluetooth connection or just normal volume it will indicate that right away so you can kind of just see that without going into control center what your playback method is and that's just a really cool subtle feature and additionally when you take screenshots it does include the volume display which is something different now if you have a controller for PlayStation or Xbox which I do not have here you can actually see the battery percentage in your battery settings in the widget view. Next is another subtle feature that I think is great. In the airdrop menu, you now have a device image, not just the name of it and a contact picture for uh, airdropping, so you'll be able to know exactly what device you are choosing. If you're like me and you've usually got a couple devices on that you could possibly airplay to, or you just need to distinguish one's device in a sea of Apple devices. Next, if you go into settings and general and font, you don't have much but you finally have something which is more than what there was before it takes you into the app store but there are no fonts available but when this is out you'll be able to see the font options so this is nice that it is now there and I'm excited for the font controls to come soon so the changes here are pretty subtle but they're nice let me know your thoughts on iOS 13.1 and look forward to the rest of the coverage of iOS 13 and macOS Catalina coming in the next couple weeks thanks for watching